Uh, you mentioned the wiki of OpenForm, which is a good place to yes. get started with. I mean, there's all of, lots of material from you and Joseph and other great guys which contributed to this. But I know that a lot of people will ask always about books. So what books yeah. would you recommend if someone gets started in OpenForm? Uh, that's, a, that's a good question, you know. Uh, OpenFoam is like a, a toolbox for, for analyzing computational fluid dynamic problems and also solid mechanic problems. Besides that, OpenFoam is a C++ toolbox. So, and, and you know, CFD is not just equations and you make colorful pictures. CFD is also like meshing. You have to know numerics. So, in my personal opinion, it is good to know what is behind, because if you get errors somewhere, you have instabilities, your solvers blowing up, it is always very good to have like the background. And yeah, sometimes it's really, really tricky. So no, no specific book recommendations then from your side, or is it like, it's basically a combination of meshing, numerics, and a lot of other things. Like, in for example, having the physical knowledge, we talked about this, why you are interested in open form, right? Where you have the, yeah. uh, the compressed gradient in the block. This is basically physical understanding that you only get by experience. So there is yeah. actually no book for experience, but you could, yeah, you just have to do it, I guess, right? And learn from yeah. your mistakes. So um, based on OpenFoam, I cannot recommend books because OpenFoam is actually a C++ uh, toolbox. Mm -hmm. It's an extreme big suit. Um, I read a few C++ books so that I'm getting familiar with C++ in general. Mm -hmm. But if you want to go with OpenFoam, you have to know DoxyGen. DoxyGen yep. is the source code documentation. And everybody who is wa wants Everybody who wants to deal with OpenFoam in, in terms of developing or understanding the, the code inside has to be familiar with DoxyGen. Otherwise, there are so many functions, so many uh, possibilities and these classes that you don't, you get, you get actually just lost. Hmm. Uh, on the other side, you can, of course, using a debugger, but um, DoxyGen is really a thing you have to, to, to take into account there. Mm -hmm. On numeric, so I don't read too much books about numeric actually. On Therefore, I cannot give any recommendation. For CFD in general, um, I, I my, my favorite book is from Fertziger in Paris, Numerical Simulations. Mm -hmm. And this was a book I, I bought almost, I think, at the beginning of, of, of starting with OpenFoam. And I still have it, and um, for me, it's a very good book. Um, there's also a, a very good book published by Mukalet et al. two years ago, I think, which is called um, Finite. Uh, I don't know. A uh, very good book about finite volume method, and they have a lot of pictures inside about mm. matrix construction and and things like this. Very good, um, and also old books, you know. Uh, Wilcox or Bird at all. So I, I during my during I wrote my book in uh, my my own book about uh, this numeric stuff and mathematics. I was reading the book of of Bird, Transport Phenomenon. Uh, very good book, very well written also. And you know there are so many good books out. Um, so it's always depending on the author, uh, how they write and, and how they express things. Actually, I read a lot of literature about CFD and they all, the, always the problem I had was they start with an equation and then they present the final equation. And I always wanted to know how they get to this equation. And that's why if you're really interested in something like this, you can get my free version of my book because I explained each, each single step on a lot of equations. And I think this is unique. Um, maybe I had to do it myself, you know, because uh, I, I'm not a genius. Like I see this crazy equation and then two sentences after that, they have like a very short equation. And it's like, after you make some mathematic manipulations, you get to this equation. So mm -hmm. I really had to do all these single steps in order to understand what's going on there. Um, therefore, yeah, I can recommend my book <laughs> um, for for these basic mathematic uh, expressions and equations. 
And of course, there are so many other books around. Um, yeah, I, I think I have, I have eight or nine CFD books. They all cook with water, so they yeah. all explain the thing in a different way. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you need two or three books to understand what's going on, because my problem was always CFD is not you know you start from from point here and you go here. CFD is like a bunch of topics you you have to think about when you are making simulations. Mm -hmm.